I mean, pretty disappointed. I'm just lucky I have insurance on my uh, my credit card and and that they notified me right away when they, they saw the purchases that were being spent. No money was taken, but, you know, my card was frozen, couldn't use it. I had to pay money to get a new card, and it was a hassle. Officials say that they found out about the issue weeks before, but there were already reports that students and other faculty members having issues and irregularities in their bank accounts. The first we learned about it was Thursday, April 12th, so Thursday before Easter. Our university police received several uh, notifications from students and faculty and staff that they had had their credit cards or debit cards compromised, and we started seeing a pattern, okay. and that was when we first learned about it. The fraud is primarily affecting people or students who have used their bank cards in Basque facilities. Basque has locations all over campus, which includes Erie Cafe, the Union Square, Tracks, Jitterbugs, Courtside Eagle's Nest, the Hartwell Cafe, and the dining halls. It is also important to remember that only bank cards are affected. Easy money, meal plans, and dining dollars are not. Basically what had happened was somebody came in, breached our network, placed this piece of malware on our network and was collecting information. So we found that we removed the malware and we closed the hole where they got onto the system. The use of credit and debit cards on campus is suspended in any of the Basque locations till the end of the semester. This is done as a safety net to prevent further frauds. The college believes that it has done a very good job of communicating with the students on how to prevent further credit card fraud from happening. If you've used a debit or credit card on campus between March 1st and April 13th, which is when we close down access, um, check your accounts. If you notice anything wrong, contact your financial institution. I mean, we would like to know as well, but your bank is the one that's going to be able to help you. It's going to happen regardless of, of where you are and um, just, I don't know, be a lot more careful, I guess, especially when you're at school and, you know, we're students and all that and you, you don't want to be giving that information out to the wrong people.